Hello everyone, it's me Sam's got a train ball here. I'm at Birmingham's National Sea Life Centre. And we're actually about to start the experience by going through the frozen planet section. And I'll show you loads of stuff. There's even penguins down there as well. Well, we're just going up the ramp towards the next bit. It's a bit busy, so we're having the queue to go up, and then I'll show you some more sea life and fish here at the National Sea Life Centre in Birmingham. That's a big fish. So we're now just up at the viewing platform here at the Sea Life Centre and I'm going to show you some of the views before we go in the 4D cinema experience. So you've actually got the canal view as well down here. I just missed a boat going past as well. And then you've got the Malt House pub. And then an arena down there. Unicorn fish. Unicorn fish. Look at this one, Minimo. Look at this one. Wow. We're in the ocean tunnel now. Yeah. Our sea life national sea life center experience, and now in the gift shop, and I'm going to spin you guys around and show you some of the merchandise in here. Sea life glass, you got one of these fun toy teddies, little shark over here. Whatever on earth that is, I speak to love. 
Octopus. Yeah, more teddies. And more stuff around here. So we're now just finishing the National Sea Life Centre. We're now just going to wait for a cab because actually we're going to go to Pizza Hut now because we've got a restaurant reservation now, 3 o'clock. It's going to be 20 to 3, so we've got 20 minutes, we're just waiting for a taxi there. And yeah, it was, well, it's fun in the sea life, but I've got a few complaints about the sea life center actually. So, that, so it, there was quite a lot of people pushing people around to see the different displays. Like, like seriously, like, you should give some people space like to see these certain attractions. Fair enough, like, social distancing has been ended, but at least like, give people the space to see each like tank, if that makes sense. But the interactive experiences were good. Um, but yeah, I think less people need to uh, push in and um, be more respectful, to be honest with you. But um, other than that, it was pretty good. I didn't buy anything in the gift shop. And it's my second time at this DI Centre. I went there once a few years ago. I actually, think, I think this might be my third time. To be honest with you, I'm not entirely sure. But I hope you enjoyed today's vlog. If you, have, if you have enjoyed, and if you'd like to support the channel further, you can now buy me a train ticket. So I will leave the link down in the description. If you want to support £5 to buy me a train ticket for more adventures, feel free to do so. Completely optional though, I appreciate everyone's support. And feel free to give me a like, and a genuine comment about the vlog you just watched. And if you're new here, please consider subscribing to the channel. And have the bell on for all notifications as well. Right, thanks so much for watching everyone. Bye guys, peace out.